So after uh, completing the TTDFT calculation, you're supposed to see three files. Here the first one is input file, the second one is checkpoint file, and the third one is lock file. As I saved all of my file in desktop, so I'm supposed to see these three files. So to see the TTDFT result, I need to um, open this file. So this is our Gauss View software. So I have to go to the file and click the open. And then files of type should be Gaussian output file. So I have to check it again. And then Gaussian output file. And here you can see the phenyl alanine TDTFT test file. So I just click and open. So this is the log file. Here you can see the log file. To see the result, as you know, like TDTFT actually give us EVVs a spectrum. Uh, this is calculated spectrum, so we can easily compare our result with experimental uh, UV. So if I just click here, result, and here we ca I can see that EVV is, uh, is active. So I can click here, and then I can see the spectra. And it's showing me the excitation energies at 280, as we know that uh, uh, phenylalanine, tryptophan, and tyrosine, all of these amino acids, because of their uh, like benzene ring, they usually give uh, absorption at 280. So here we can see that our calculated, uh, like the lambda max value, the wavelength value is 280, is uh, just uh, same as the experimental. So it's looked a little bit different, so we can change. Uh, it uh, by clicking so I just right click and click the properties button and I can click the invert axis to see the uh, the real way we see the UV so I just select this reason because we are interested about this reason so that's our absorption maxima at 280 uh, and we can save this graph so right click your mouse and export and choose PNZ so just give a name phenyl TDDFT test or press it for save so you already set your um, UVVs a spectrum uh, that's uh, like calculated UVVs by TDDFT Okay, but TTDFT calculation actually uh, provide you more than that. It's give you actually molecular level information. So if you just click the output file and open as a notepad, so it's a output file. So we are interested to know about the excitation energies. So I'm going to edit and clicking the find and then typing excitation energies and click find next so you'll see that excitation energies and oscillator stands and 280 is the maximum absorbance at 280 so as we calculated six excited states, here is the first one, and this is the sixth one. So here we can see that the 44 to 45, so electron going from 44 to 45. So what is 44? 44 is the HOMO molecular orbital. So electron goes from HOMO to LUMO uh, orbital. So so it goes from HOMO to LUMO and it's giving you the wavelength and the oscillator stands uh, equivalent to absorbance and it's also giving you excitation energies. So this is excitation energies in electron volts 
curve length in nanometer and oscillator strength or absorbance it doesn't have any unit as you know and it's also giving you information that electron is going from 44 to 44 homo to 45 lumo we'll see uh, just later how the homo and lumo orbital look like and it's also giving you molecular contribution and if you have this number if you just put a square and then multiply by 200 then you will get the molecular contribution from homo to lumo so how we can see the homo 44 and lumo 45 so here is the icon that's called AMO editor molecular orbital editor so we already have checkpoint file uh, in our um, phenyl anonine TTDFT so if I click here so I can see that 44 it has two electrons so it's homo and 45 it doesn't have any electrons so that's the lumo so I would like to see how the homo look likes and the lumo look likes so first I need to actually upload the, these uh, checkpoint file it's it's automatically like it's giving me checkpoint file here in my desktop so if I just click here load it might take a little bit time then you will see that visualize button is active now so if you just up click the update then it will create the molecular orbital cubes file so it will just take uh, some seconds and we'll see how these homo orbital look like oh here we go so if I just click here I can see that this is the homo orbital means this is the 44 number homo orbital and if I just click here so I can see the lumo orbital so if I again I go to the homo I can see that most of the electron densities are in benzene as well as in this curve and here is the but in case of lumo most of the electron densities are in carbonyl um, oxygen and hydroxyl part of the phenyl alanine so <coughs> TTDFT calculation we can we can see the UVV's as spectra as well as it also give you a uh, molecular orbital level like from where electron is from which lumo to which uh, ho of, from which homo to which lumo electron is going so details information we can calculate or we can see from TDDFT calculations so that's it for today